Um, so I already know the answer to these guys. Did you go to the campfire last yes, night? Yes. yes. Okay. Did you guys go to the campfire last night? Yeah, we we got in a bit late. So Did you catch the? Uh, we caught the tail end. Caught the tail end, Kate. Okay. You guys for the whole thing? Mm -hmm. You just got two bonus points. We're going to give you one bonus point anyway, okay? Because you caught the tail end. Okay, good job. So. Uh, Observe. That's what we're talking about here today with Leave No Trace. It kind of goes along with the principles of educating and leaving no trace ethics. Okay? Who can tell me if you're going out on a hike and you see something along the trail, something that you should always pick up and always take with you? Garbage. Is that what you were going to say? Waste. Garbage. K. Define garbage. What's trash? It's waste. Okay. Wrappers, cans, all that old stuff. Okay. Anything that, I mean, say anything that doesn't belong there, right? Easy trainer. K is garbage. We're going to maybe have another bonus question later huh? talking about Easy that. Easy trainer from the early K. There huh. are, uh, we're going to go on a little hike here in a minute. Oh, really? Yep. And I'm going to want you guys to look for some things while we're hiking them. Um, one of the things you've already identified, which is garbage or trash, that's something you should always pick up. Okay, second thing is something that it's okay for you to touch, something that's okay for you to look at, maybe even pick up, take a picture, but then you put it down and leave it there. Okay, third thing is something that you should never even touch. Okay, we'll go on a hike here in a second and see. Before we do, I want to talk to you about, I'm going to tell you a little story about Deloy. Deloy, right here. When he was a young scoutmaster a couple of years ago, it was his first camp out. Him and his boys went on a hike. No, they didn't go on a hike. They went on a camp out in a state park. And the boys decided they were going to go out and have some fun playing some games. And he's from St. George. So it was very rude of you guys to have this snow here for him. Yes, right. But he, he's, he's mentioned that a couple times. <laughs> anyway, his boys went out playing like he normally would. Do any of you know what yucca plants are? No. Yeah. yeah, Keith does. So a yucca plant is just a cactus. In the middle of the cactus is this big, long stick. And that eventually turns into a flower does something. Well, those are really cool to pick and use as swords. So that's what the boys did. They were having all these sword fights. They were having a great time. And then when they came back, the park ranger came over with them and said, what? Oh, I just said, oh, no. Oh, no, that's right. It was, oh, no. He said, uh, each one of those that you picked is a $50 fine. There were six boys, 300 bucks. He had to write out a check out of the troop funds right then for 300 bucks. Now, since he was a new scoutmaster, he didn't, hadn't been to basic training yet, he hadn't done all the other trainings. The next week, you know where he was? Basic training. Basic training, doing the other training, so he could learn about this. So this is a pitch for all you leaders. You can never get too much training. He was just trained a couple weeks ago down at, what well, was in September. September. Yeah. Um, we had Leave No Trace training last week up here at Mapledale. Uh, we can handle up to 20 or so people, and the eight people showed up. So there's still room for you guys to be trained. You young kids can be trained as well. Okay? And you can be trained. You can get to wear it. You get a neat little patch that you can put on here about being a guide or a trainer oh. or so on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's okay. a nice looking patch. There you go. <laughs> Let's see your patch, Deloitte. You I want the patch. I one. From you, sir. Oh, okay. okay. So anyway. Um, just wanted to tell you that story so it helps to be trained and to know what you can and can't do. And that's what we want to talk about here before we go on our little hike. Okay, in 1972, this is the hike. Congress decided oh, they were the going to cool. put some teeth in oh. the neck that they'd been given earlier. Snake? I don't like snakes.
So that was the law. So now all of a sudden you couldn't pick up or touch any of those things. Now here's the interesting thing, guys. That law keeps moving. So every year, the 50 years keeps going along. So in 2011, anything that's 50 years or older is considered antiquities. Did anybody do the math what year that would be? Back when I was a scout. <laughs> 1961. Exactly. So, yeah. what that means is, is you see me or Deloy out That's in scary. the hills, we are antiquities. You cannot put us up. Leave you alone here. You can't take us home. You can't take us home. You can pick us up, take a picture, and put us back in. I'm going to take a picture. Okay, cool. so that's, that's the law. Okay, here's the three things that I'm going to have you guys look at. Um, this is a big group, so you're going to have to listen carefully and look carefully as you walk around here. Three things that you should never touch. Okay? Animals. I want three things. You're going to go on a hike. You're going to see some things. Okay, three things that you should never touch. <laughs> Three things that it's okay to touch, maybe pick up, take a picture, put down. Fall campery. And you already know about the trash that you huh. pick up. And then just try to look for some other things as you Who go would have thunk it? Some questions. Looks like what patrol looks are you guys? 459. 459, do you have a name? The wolves. Yeah, the wolves. Okay, wolves, yeah. why don't you go ahead and go first. Walk slowly around here and see what you see. Hornets. 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 Are you hornets? Okay. Wolves. Don't touch the feathers. When you get done, just walk all the way around yes. and come back. You won't see anything oh, else. Oh, it's a little garbage. No. Okay, Hornet, you ready? Go ahead. Just walk all the way around. And you won't see anything except on this side. That's <laughs> great. Leave no trace. That's right. Okay, uh, the boys can tell you. Or I'll, yeah, okay. I'll go watch this. Hey, Deloy, what yeah. tread lightly principle goes with this? I forgot. This is education, to educate. Principle number three. Okay. We want them to be educated about so these So you tell rules. them that too? Yes. Cool. Yep. Uh, look at Leave no trace number four. <laughs> That's head off. Right? <laughs> I told you I don't like snakes. Tread lightly number three. <laughs> I, I don't like snakes much. See, that's a rattlesnake. This is a good prop. That's good. Is this all your stuff? This is my stuff. That Matati stone? Found that in my garden. Can you believe that? No. Sure. Yeah. Tell it to the judge. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it yes. to the judge. Yes, sir. Official fake eagle feathers? Those are officially fake eagle. The bear. Okay, what's another thing? Wrong. Okay, what's another thing? Artifact. Wrong. Okay. Come on, you guys. Have done. You got the bear. The turtle. The turtle. The turtle. The turtle. Yeah. Okay. Bears, turtles, and snakes, what do they consider? So, animals. Animals, wildlife. Yeah. Never touch wildlife, okay? 
You can take pictures of them if you want, but never touch them. Now, why wouldn't you touch the rattlesnake? Okay, that was pretty obvious, right? A bear, he's going to rip your hand off, right? Hey, guys, I need your attention. <laughs> the uh, turtle. Why didn't you touch the turtle? Oh, it's it's the turtle. Oh, uh, starting to snog again. It could snap you. Oh. It could scale it away from its habitat. Hey, you're infecting its ab habitat. That's right. Touching them, they can get diseases. They can get sick. And you might, they might be going to lay eggs. You just ruined what they're doing. So you just do not ever touch animals. Now, how about a little lizard? It's okay to touch a lizard, right? Yeah. No. Wrong. <laughs> okay, why don't we touch lizards? Why don't we say wildlife? Their, their tails will, sometimes their tails fall off, and that's their food for winter. It's good. It's away from the house. Okay. How would you like, pretend you were a lizard, how would you like some big monster coming and picking you up and playing with you and stroking your belly and playing with your legs and then running and letting you go? You would be scared for weeks. Okay? Don't even touch the lizard. Plus, their tails have this. And their tails? It's like having Godzilla walk okay. through your house and pull you out and go, oh, oh good little human. Okay, wolves, what are, name two things that it's okay to pick up and then put back down. Go ahead.